So uh, Graham Dretch has set me the challenge of creating this sort of shape in Wings 3D and I'm going to try and achieve this by using uh, well, right click and cylinder but using the options dialog in the cylinder so I can use a gear. I'm going to move this box to one side so you can see what happens. So there's the gear. I'm going to use a thickness of 0.5, sections 8 and height um, 0.5 OK, then with the face selection tool, select this top face and one of these side faces and press I for identical, so that selects the bottom and these little side faces. Then switch to edges and go select and invert the selection. And then with those little edges selected now, right click and bevel those down. Hit the tab key and enter 0.25. So you've got this sort of shape, press space to deselect those faces, select face, select the top face, press I for identical, so the bottom face is selected also, right click and go to mirror, and then repeat this operation again, so use identical, and right click and mirror, and one more time, right click and mirror. And the next thing to do is select the entire shape, and I'll look at it sideways, and compare it with my reference image, so I'll have this handy this reference image and I'm going to try and create a similar kind of twisting so we go to the points right click deform and twist along the y-axis and I'll take it round I don't know I'll experiment and I'll say about 900 percent there we go and see if that looks like the kind of twist we've got mm, it's close enough for this example OK, so having put the twists in, press space to deselect everything, select an end, press I for identical, press plus to extend the selection, go select and invert the selection now. So you don't want the ends to, to be selected because when you smooth it, it'll tend to fold the ends in. So I'm just going to press S to smooth this now and I'll smooth it once more. And then to tidy the ends up, press space to deselect, select one of the ends, press I for identical, press plus to extend the selection, press delete and then I press space to deselect and then you've got this sort of shape I don't think it's uh, too bad a match really so I'll uh, export that and give it a render in either Bryce or uh, Octane and we'll see how it looks so there you go and there's a quick guide to creating this kind of shape what did uh, Graham describe it as a fluted twisted column there you go or I might have described it as that I can't remember uh, barley sugar twist yes okay so there you go that's the end of the video hope you found that interesting and you'll experiment with this in Wings 3D